going on people I'm code gray and welcome back to the channel and today we're doing a review on the all-new Melbourne jacket 2.0 okay so it's not really all new the kind of new Melbourne jacket 2.0 well I guess it's not really kind of new either it's actually kind of old the kind of old Melbourne jacket 2.0 okay so I got it on closeout prices at Revzilla you can't even get it there anymore but, I think you can still get it on Amazon. Okay, so I pretty much have nothing but praise for this jacket. Uh, I got it about yeah, middle, of, middle of fall last year, late fall. And uh, this jacket has really extended my riding season. Now it's a fully textile jacket. <clears throat> It comes with a uh, rain liner, and it also comes with a thermal liner. They tell you it's uh, rain resistant or water resistant, even without the rain liner. I've got caught in some minor sprinkles and nothing got through, but I never actually rode in a full-on rain in it, so I'm not sure. So this jacket comes in a few different colors. Obviously the black and red comes in an all black, a black and blue and a black and white. Some of the cool things about this jacket, it is very adjustable. You got adjustments on the wrists, the forearms, the biceps, and the waist. It's got reflective logos on it. The one you see here on the chest, it's got one just like it on the back. That's good at night, which I do a lot of riding at night because uh, I work third shift, so I commute at night. Thanks for blowing that in the road, dude. Now, as far as the armor goes, it does come with CE rated armor in the elbows and the shoulders. Unfortunately, though, it's just a back pad for your back. You'll have to order a back protector separately. Now, you'll find one of the best things about this jacket, it's the weight. This is a very lightweight jacket. Really comfortable to wear. And it's got like some kind of like suede or neoprene around the collar so it doesn't rub up against your neck. That's nice. This jacket also comes with some venting. One on each shoulder as you can see. Those are the, your intake vents and then you got one basically at the nape of your neck or top of your shoulders. That's your exhaust vent. Now if you go to order this jacket Depending on where you try to order it from, because you can, you still can get it at other places besides Amazon. I didn't research them all. I definitely did see you can get it on Amazon. But depending on where you go to get it from, the description will be a little bit different. Some of them will tell you it's an American fit. Some will tell you it's a half American, half European fit. Uh, some of them say it runs true to size. Uh, I don't think so. I think it runs a little small. 
You see, no, I normally wear a, a large to an extra large in a jacket, depending on who makes it and the cut. For this jacket, I had to order a 2XL. And it fits comfortably. It's not extremely snug, but I like that so I can layer up a little bit underneath it when it starts getting pretty cold out. I mean, it's not loose by any means, but uh, I have enough room to get a, a hoodie underneath it and maybe a thermal without being uh, too snug. Yeah, I really like this jacket. It has a lot of pros. Like I said, it's lightweight. I think it looks good, in my opinion. And it looks good no matter which color you uh, you decide to go for, too. Lots of adjustability. Doesn't pinch in weird areas or nothing like that. As far as crash protection, I haven't gone down in it. I hope I never do, so I hope I can never have to report on that. Now, as far as cons go, I actually only have uh, one con and one worry, really. And the con for this jacket is the same con that every other jacket has. And uh, that's the mesh lining on the inside. It's there to help flow air, so I'm not against it or anything, but on warm days, it just sticks to your skin. But that goes with every jacket you buy that has that mesh lining, and most of them have it. Everyone I've ever bought has, anyway. And as far as the uh, worry, the worry is the venting. Now I've used the vents in about uh, 75 degree weather, Fahrenheit, and uh, they seem to do okay. I mean, I don't feel a ton of air rushing through them, but they seem to be all right. But my worry is, I don't know how well they're going to work on very hot days while I'm commuting because where the vents are located on each shoulder and the nape of your neck is exactly where I put my backpack when I'm commuting. So basically I'll have no venting when I have a backpack on. And how cool I'll be after that, who knows? It, it may suck. I mean, if it gets too bad, I do have a, uh, I do have another jacket. It's actually, uh, it's an AGV Sport leather jacket. It's a summer jacket. It's perforated leather, and that thing flows a ton of air. And it's actually more protective than this one, but uh, it's also a very heavy jacket. When you're not moving, you are sweating. Yeah, guys, this is probably going to be a shorter video. I mean, I really don't have much to complain about. I'm happy with the purchase I made with this jacket. This is the only Oxford jacket I've ever... Actually, the only Oxford product I've ever owned. Who knows? Maybe I'll buy uh, more of their stuff in the future. All right, guys, I guess that'll wrap it up for this review of the not-very-new-at-all Oxford Melbourne Jacket 2.0 this help you subscribe give it a like leave a comment all right guys i'm code gray we'll see you guys in the next one